Chief, for inviting me to be with you this evening. It is, in truth, a real honor. And I want to convey to you my belief that millions of working people throughout this country are proud of what you are doing. They're proud of your fight for justice, and we stand with you. Thank you. A couple of points tonight. That is to tell you that what is going on today in the UK is no different than what is going on in the United States of America. Same bloody thing. And that is what you are seeing is people on the top, people who are phenomenally rich, are becoming richer. You're seeing a middle class continue to shrink, and you're seeing millions and millions of people living in abject poverty. In the year 2022, we cannot allow that to happen, whether it's the UK or the United States. Working people all over this globe have got to stand together and tell the oligarchs they cannot have a Today in America, you have three multi-billionaires who own more wealth than the bottom half of American society, 160 million people. Three people. Shame is exactly the right word. In your country, as I understand it, you have a hundred people on top who own more wealth than the bottom 18 million people. That is 27% of your population. No one can tell me from a moral perspective, or in fact from an economic perspective, that it makes any sense at all that so few have so much, and so many have so little. There is no moral justification for a small number of multi-billionaires to have more wealth than they will spend in a thousand lifetimes while people are going hungry or living out on the street. In the UK and in the United States, we have got to get our priorities right, and that means creating an economy and a government that work for all, not just the few.